all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and as you can see we have sneak peek number four for the january update the last sneak peek of 2020 and with that i just want to take a moment to say a happy new year to all of you guys 2020 was a ruthless year right for many of us it was the worst year of our lives some people the exception they had a good year but for the most of us it was a pretty crappy year a year filled with lots of restrictions lots of losses and it's not over yet some of that mess has spilled over into 2021 but at this point all i'm personally hoping for is a 2021 that ends better than 2020 did I think that's all we can ask for. So happy, safe, productive, positive new year to all of you guys, wherever you are. Hopefully your friends, your family, your loved ones are all doing well. If they're not, hopefully things get better for you. Additionally, thank you guys for showing all the support that you have to the channel in the past year. That being said, let's get right to the sneak peek. This one is amazing i was actually losing my mind about it on twitter earlier because it basically brings back memories of when i first started playing marvel future fight okay the good old days as they would often say it, reminiscing is always it's always good well not always but most in most cases it's good right so anyways we have a message here the last message of 2020 the last message of a decade crazy right from CM Fragment. So it says, Greetings agents, this is CM Fragment of Marvel Future Fight. The new ruler of Jotunheim has elected hmm, to help his brother. In case you guys don't know, in this comic run, Thor 2020 or Thor Herald of Galactus, Loki is now the king of frost giants. Okay, so that's basically Loki, right? Could he turn out to be a true defender of Asgard? To atone for his evil deeds from his past, please watch out carefully for the actions of Loki, the god of mischief, the new agent of Asgard. So, we have a, a little video clip today, not a picture, so let's actually watch it. The music for it is actually quite calming. I don't know about you guys, but for me, the music is actually quite calming, so that's pretty good. Let me actually set it on a loop here. And let's uh let's check it out together so this one you don't really have to guess too much right because it goes along with uh the message that we got you can clearly see the t actually let's let's go back right let me point it out and let me pause you can clearly see that this is a t and in between that this seems like an anchor of some sort maybe but there's something else and then there is a w here but if you just flip it to the side that would be T3, tier three, Loki. Now, if you have some, uh, I guess some reserves about that, you could easily just go down here and you can see it says, Loki's almighty power of trickery is coming to Marvel Future Fight. So basically this is a confirmation that we are indeed getting a tier three for Loki. Hopefully an awakening for Valkyrie and some more um for others like sif anyways we'll, we'll get into it we'll get into it because i was losing my mind about it <laughs> on twitter uh a moment ago if you're not following me on twitter yeah you can follow me on twitter i guess sometimes i post stuff sometimes right anyways but in addition to that right we do have a little note here and for one it's green um loki rocks heavy with green right so yeah you can kind of see who wrote the note but be right back um kind of has me feeling like beta ray bill and i did say that on twitter too right like when i see bb you know what i'm saying like B, yeah beta ray bill please <laughs> anyway the reason why i'm saying that like for one i love beta ray bill and i don't think beta ray bill is lacking anything in the game but he is a part of this comic run and he does look different right he did fight thor he lost right got his ass whooped that's fine but he does look different and it would be cool to see him get a uniform now there's not much that beta ray bill lacks he's very easy to play he's very very strong but i wouldn't mind if he had like a passive heal kind of like a wolverine type heal where he could just constantly be regenerating instead of the one that he has right now where when he goes below 50 he bounces back right like 
it would be nice. That's literally the only thing that I would want for Beta Ray Bill, for the most part, right? I think he's an amazing character already. But this basically is just a note from Loki. <laughs> I was just messing around on Twitter. I don't think this has anything to do with Beta Ray Bill, but it would be nice to see Beta Ray Bill get a uniform. And it's crazy because even though it's a, it would be a tier two native getting a uniform, so it would be like expensive gold wise and resource wise to upgrade it. I think a lot of people would be happy with that, which is crazy, right? But on top of that, let's actually uh, jump over Twitter and see how everybody else is feeling. Because for once, people are very, very, very happy. So let's jump over. Let's take a look at some of the uh, feedback that we got from people. <laughs> so you, you see me. Be right back. Be reveal two hours ago. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, I know. Like, relax, man. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Of course, it doesn't have anything to do with beta reveal. Like, we're just trolling. People like it, though. Anyways, I need a new uniform for Sif. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, right? Because maybe you haven't read the comic. It's relatively new. I'm not just asking for a uniform for Sif out of nowhere. She's actually a pretty substantial part of this comic run. She's the new guardian of the Bifrost, okay? So in this run, I do believe Heimdall is dead and Sif actually becomes the new guardian of the Bifrost. And she's actually the one that saved Beta Ray Bill. Like you can see right here, she says, Thor, you unbelievable horse's ass, <laughs> right? Stay <laughs> Sif, think very carefully about <laughs> how you proceed i am your king and there is only so much i am willing to tolerate yo sif is actually a badass bro she's like save your breath i'm not afraid of you and i'm not going to fight yo yo i'm telling you bro like i'm telling you sif's a badass so we need that sif uniform and look at beta ray bro rocking that mohawk bro like come on bro come on right you <laughs> so we gotta see we gotta see a new uniform for Sif with like glowing eyes. Like, come on, man. Come on, guys. Like, I know that, that a lot of you guys are big fans of Sif, right? But Sif is a dope character and I would love to see her get a big power up. Maybe get an awakening too alongside Valkyrie, right? That'd be dope. But I guess who would they added as, as the third character for the awakening? Because usually they add three characters and I guess they would put Angela. So it would be like the female warriors of, um, Oh, what you call it <laughs> i'm just joking of asgard that'd be dope but then people be like yo wait angela gets an awakening but get nothing else i would like to see like a hunters of haven um update where angela and the remaining uh, uh what you call it asgardians get something because i don't think volstag hogan fangela or any of those guys are going to get anything now that i think about it right but anyways sif beta ray bill i do think them two getting uniforms would be a cool thing to go along with thor valkyrie and loki getting uniforms along with tier threes and awakening so very very good looking update so far and the crazy thing about all of this is right crazy thing we have still not seen any new characters boys and because of this i see a lot of people speculating that for the first time ever we might not get any new characters and honestly i highly doubt it because that's where they make their the bulk of their money right because uniforms you can purchase for crystals that you save so most people if they didn't go crazy um spending their crystals they probably have crystals left over from previous purchases so they could possibly buy all the uniforms and the update without spending a dollar right i do think we are going to get new characters i just don't think we're going to get very many because four sneak peeks and no characters hinted yet i think it might be a two character update and looking at this comic run there's not too many like super popular characters that we could get right i i don't believe terex the tamer is in this um comic run but he would be a good herald for them to add i believe they have like pastor mike and like stardust and um nova not nova richard Ryder or not nova sam alexander it's a couple other um lesser known marvel characters that's in this run so i do believe that is why they're probably not going to add very many of them on the, the team with the heralds we have Cosmic Ghost Rider, Silver Surfer, and a couple other characters that nobody really cares about for the most part. <laughs> so that's why um, I guess we haven't seen too many characters hinted so far. But check this out, boys. You've probably seen, you've seen it already because I'm going to use this as the thumbnail. But like, this looks fire, bro. Like, for one, look at Thor's hair. 
Thor hair, his hair looks exactly like the comics, right? Which is not what we saw in the first sneak peek. His hair was darker, like it usually looks. So he might have like a transformation, just like um Captain Marvel, where you like you hit his like fifth skill or his third skill or what have you, and then he powers up with the power cosmic or whatever, and then this is the new look, which is lit, bro. This is sick, right? This is so good. So we have Ultra Instinct Thor. We have Valkyrie. By the way, I've seen people complaining that they're turning a black character into a white character. Calm down, guys. Valkyrie was always white. OG Valkyrie is white, right? The movie made her black. People weren't complaining about it then, so they shouldn't be complaining about this now, right? For a lot of you guys who don't know, OG Nick Fury was white. Now he's black. Calm down. It's not that serious. All right? Cool. Then we have my guy Loki, which he's looking sinister as hell. So the previous um, post that asked if he's going to be like turning over a new leaf and uh, helping out the good guys for good. Nah, bro. Loki's still staying a villain, or at least I hope so. And now that he has a sword, I'm hoping he leaves like the summon thing behind and we can actually play him a little bit differently because Loki has always been a character that's, I guess, pretty one dimensional where you pop the clones, you pop the shield and you run away. Right, I'm hoping that we see something different from him. I'm hoping they still keep him as a universal type though. Right, because seeing him with a sword, seeing like the green, it, like immediately makes me think of like a, like a Baron Zemo, like a speed character thing. Like, which obviously just because he has a sword and just because he rocks green doesn't mean speed right away, right? But anyways, I'm hoping that we get the fight a different way using Loki, so that's gonna be fun, right? Also, you got to see the crows for Thor. I'm hoping that means my man gets a heal just like Odin. And speaking of Odin, Thor needs to be at least at the power level of Odin in the game, right? Because in the comics, he's far stronger than Odin with the power cosmic on top of him already was just being stronger than Odin. So very, very excited, guys. Very, very excited. So leave me your thoughts in the comments. Let me know how you guys are feeling about this um, key art, which looks fire and the sneak peek, which lets us know we're getting tier three Loki. It's a double. It's a double today, man. It's it's uh, amazing. I'm gone. Peace.